So I'm not a crazy sports fanatic. However, Super Bowl is one of my favorite times of the year, hands down. We always go all out, we play some commercial bingo, and it's the perfect excuse to make a ton of food. So today we're doing three cheap and delicious appetizers that are gonna be absolutely perfect for your party. All right, let's go. So starting with this, this is my favorite spinach dip of all time. It's adapted from a recipe in the Magnolia cookbook that my wife likes to look through every time we go to Target. And this is like the definition of a crowd pleaser. And this is a slice of my father-in-law's famous garlic bread. He probably wouldn't want me sharing this recipe publicly, but it's been a long year and I think we all deserve this. Oh man, you could say that's a touchdown. All right, we're on the clock, so we're doing spinach. Um, maybe don't, maybe don't pour the entire bag of spinach in at once, but we're really just trying to wilt these. So give it a splash of water, a couple cracks of sea salt for taste and to move things along a little quicker. Give it a stir and we're just gonna let these wilt down until they're vibrant green, to only about two minutes or so. Go ahead and put them in the strainer. We can start on the next batch here. Same thing, and we're just gonna drain these. Also, look how cool this strainer is and how many dishes I have to do. All right, so we're gonna start on the cheese. We got a lot of Parmesan freshly grated. I would avoid that powdered stuff in the jar. Then we're gonna go with some smoked Gouda, give it a little smokiness, and end on some cheddar. Once the spinach is cooled, you'll wanna put it in a kitchen towel, squeeze out as much of the moisture as you can, and start chopping it. All right, time for some more fat. So we have a cup of mayo, an entire block of cream cheese, and one jar of marinated artichoke hearts. Season these with white pepper, garlic powder, MSG, of course, some fresh black pepper, and just mix that up until it is creamy, uniform. You guys know I never measure, but of course I will put the exact measurements in the description below for you. Cover it in some smoked paprika, and we'll go ahead and get it in the oven. All right, this garlic bread. This garlic bread. So you're gonna need bread, and this Johnny's garlic spread seasoning. You can find this a lot of places. The most common are Costco or Amazon if you want. But for me, this seasoning is really what makes this garlic bread. You can also use Lowry's garlic salt, but I really do like this better. The ratio is three tablespoons of seasoning to one stick of softened butter. All right, now I don't care who you are. This is, this is hard, all right? Trying to get an even slice on bread. Let's try that again. That's a little better. Go ahead and spread it on. If you're gonna let it cake up anywhere, make sure it's on the edges. That's kind of generally where this bread dries out. But you don't want it to soak and saturate into the bread. You just want it to cover it. Also, don't let these sit out for too long before baking them. That butter will just soften the bread a little bit too much. And the garlic bread just won't be as toasted as you want. And you want toasted garlic bread. Garlic bread, toasted, not burnt. If it comes burnt, I will send it back. So we'll put these under the broiler, close the oven door halfway, not all the way because you cannot forget these. I repeat, do not walk away from these. They cook so quickly. I've burned way too many of these, but that's it. Super simple. You got one appetizer out of the way and we're only three minutes in. Bada boom. So next up, no matter how many times I make these, they are always gone. I never have leftovers. I call them millionaire little smokies and they're kind of like pigs in a blanket, but way better. If you make these, your football team will win this year. I promise you. I pro- Okay, uh, we're back. All you need is some beef little smokies, get them from the store, get some bacon, thin sliced if possible, some brown sugar, and if you're a crazy person, cayenne pepper. Go ahead and slice these in half, and this really is as simple as it looks. Just wrap up that little smoky in the bacon. This is why you need it to be thin. If it's too thick of a slice, it will just kind of fall apart. And that's it. Just do that over and over and over again, and then do it a little bit more because these will get eaten. Sprinkle some brown sugar, black pepper over the top, fresh if you can. And again, if you're crazy, a little bit of cayenne pepper over the top. Just don't forget which ones that you put the cayenne on. Um, I made that mistake. Finally, we have these chicken wings. I don't remember exactly where I got this recipe, but I've kind of just adapted it over time. One time I ate like 16 of these in 10 minutes and uh, I paid dearly for it. But they're super easy and just crushable is how I would describe them. 
would ideally start with some fresh wings here, but I've got frozen, which works just as well too. So we got a bunch of avocado oil in here to get this marinade going. Got a couple of cloves of freshly pressed garlic, lime juice, and this is a seasoning blend of a lot of different things. Again, exact recipe in the comments, but notably we've got garlic powder, onion powder, which is the main ingredients. And then we have some paprika, salt, pepper, white sugar, cumin, chili powder, ginger powder, MSG, Old Bay. It is a tried and true combination of spices. Can't go wrong. I splash in a little bit of water here just to help things kind of shuffle around, not get stuck in the corners. Now we're talking about football here, so of course I'm going to be doing something on the Traeger, but you can do them on the grill or even in the oven if you want, but just go ahead and grill them on high until they're charred and hit 165 internal. have to enjoy sports to have an amazing Super Bowl party. Honestly, I'm just there for good food, hanging out with good people. Now, if you're really trying to master chicken wings specifically, you got to watch my video with Jared Pullman. The man has an entire cookbook on low and slow barbecue, and he has a killer New Zealand accent. If you want to watch that video, click here. Catch you on the next one, folks.